Hey everybody! Well today we're going to take a look at this brand new set from LEGO. So this is set number 42158 and it's the NASA Mars Rover Perseverance. So I have been waiting to get one of these because uh, LEGO issued this kit a long time ago and um, it was like several years ago and it was before I was doing LEGO and so unfortunately if you want one of those now you got to pay a premium price for it. So thankfully LEGO has brought this back. Now I'm sure this is probably a more updated version, especially because it does come with the really cool drone that we saw flying around on the Martian surface, which is really neat that they have that. And they probably made a few improvements on this one versus the last one. Now this set does have 1,132 pieces. It is a Technic set. I know some people don't really care for the Lego Technic sets. I'm fine with them. I think they're fun. Um, they're a little uh, challenge. They're definitely more challenging. And for a, something like this, like a robotic vehicle, I think Technic really is the best way to go for something like this. This also has some kind of a an augmented reality experience down there. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I think it's a, a QR code that you scan, probably this one here, probably in the instructions as well. And I think what it does is when you download the app, you can have the camera aim towards the model once you got it built and it may put like some Martian backgrounds in there. So that might be kind of neat. So that's what it looks like from a different angle. Looks like you can turn it 360 degrees. So those wheels look just like the, the Rover wheels. So they're very, uh, you know, flexible and movable. And then it looks like here it shows that if you turn these dials back here, or these little knobs, it operates the front, the uh, front little probe arm or whatever that is. I'm not familiar with what all this equipment is on here. There's collectors and little compartments and stuff. So I'm not really sure what all of it is. I just think that the vehicles are really cool and it still just blows my mind that we have vehicles and probes and, and uh, rovers up on Mars. It's just crazy. There's uh, quite a few of them up there. All right, well, let's see how many bags of parts this has. Okay, so the bags are numbered up to four, but there are eight bags total because of the multiples. So there's quite a few pieces in there, including some really large ones in here. And then what's really cool is that we have this big bag right here. Look at this. Look at these wheels. These are great. And they're big. I didn't realize that the wheels were this big. So this is going to be a much larger model than I thought it was going to be. And it already even has the, uh, the spokes on there on the inside of it. I thought that was going to be a separate piece, but they're already built in. So these must be made specifically for this set. Very, very cool. I love it. Here's the sticker sheets that come with this. So there's quite a few stickers on it. As you can see here, we got quite a few little markings. I'm not sure what all of this is. I really wish LEGO would move away from stickers though. After building those other sets, like the Kobe sets and the other knockoff brands, they don't have stickers and if they can do it, I don't know why LEGO can't do it, but they're going to do this method, I guess. And then here, these are pretty neat. Look at these. Are, they have like a mirrored finish to it. I don't know if these are like uh, maybe the collectors or maybe uh, some kind of solar collectors. That, I don't know if that's a solar panel. It looks almost like tire treads or something. It's weird, but very nice shiny gold right there. So yeah, those are pretty cool. Interestingly, the instruction book doesn't have any information on it. It just starts right in. With the build, normally there's some kind of information about the probe and everything else. And this one doesn't start out that way, so it's kind of weird. Although I will say that um, I got this set from Italy because the set is not available until August 1st. I'll talk about that again at the end of the video. But the set doesn't officially come out until August 1st here in the United States. and so, uh, But it is out in Europe already, so I went ahead and got... Uh, the uh, the set early, but you can see here we're going to be building that probe. I mean the uh, the drone in the front. Oh, that's where that sticker goes right there. That's cool. So yeah, uh, maybe the uh, the U.S. version of this will have history about it on the front. Kind of wish they did that with this, but oh well. Anyway, I guess I'll get started on it. Looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm about to finish bag number two, and you can see all the crazy stuff going on on the inside of the main body of this. So this is pretty cool. I'm not sure what this is. It looks like there's blades or something, and they go all the way around, and I'm not sure what that is. I thought it was going to spin, but it doesn't. It's, it's uh, set in one place there. Also, there's a couple parts in here I've never seen before, like this black ring right there. I've never seen that part. I don't know if it's new to this set, or I just haven't seen it before, but that piece right there. And then another interesting piece was this. See this little, it looks like kind of an axle right here. This is all one piece. This light gray part, that dark gray part, and then that orange post. That's all. It's already built. And then you unscrew this gray part to lengthen it to the length that you need. 
and I have never seen that before so that was very interesting so it's kind of like an axle or something so when you turn these knobs up here that's what activates all of this you can see the gears working over here once again a very smooth uh, operation here's the other knob right here you can see how this all goes so I think this is what moves the arm in the front I think that arm collects samples or something on the uh, the Mars rover but uh, this is really cool I think it's really neat this looks like see it this moves a little bit um, let me see if I can try to see how it's got a little bit of um, moving ability so I don't know if this is gonna turn I don't know it'll be interesting to see what all of this does I've already put a few stickers on here as well but a very interesting build since I'm not familiar with all this stuff it's kinda cool because you're you're kinda mystified what you're building but it's all coming together and I love it alright so a couple of cool things to show you first of all these wheels are really nice now they're plastic they're not rubber it would have been cool if these were rubber but that's fine but if you look at the um, treads look how they look I think that's how the rovers treads really do look they have that kind of uneven kind of thickness and then look at this these are dual molded so you got that silver kind of spoke pattern going on in there see how that looks that's really really cool so it's a specialized piece just for this model now this is another thing that's crazy this whole network right here is insane when you're building this there's a lot of pieces in here and there's a lot of crazy stuff and you have to make sure you're putting everything on completely proper because you don't want to mess this up and it, it's the whole system for the wheels but you can see how this is connected to this right here that little uh, ball joint connector and then this little knob here apparently is going to power this somehow because see how that's turning that a little bit now there's something on the bottom that prevents it to turn and I'm thinking that's a little holder until you take that off later but see how that turns that now you got to build this entire thing on the opposite side so I'm going to be starting on that but here if I show you the bottom of this this is what I'm talking about that little holder right there I think when you turn that dial at the top see how that keeps it from moving that might be there to keep that from moving until you're done is my guess but uh, boy that is something else that is a crazy crazy build right there but it was fun though <laughs> I really like it just be sure that when you do it pay attention to what you're doing because it's uh, kind of complicated alright so let's start with the helicopter drone here so this is the first thing that you build and it's very nice it looks very much like the little helicopter that we've seen flying around on Mars uh, you have the little gold foil stickers down here for this they look really good on there just your standard posts here for the legs it's a simple build I mean there wasn't too much to it there's that solar I'm guessing that's a solar panel now these um, these blades you know if you push this down you know tight they will stay in place but if you loosen it up just a little bit you can uh, let me see if I can loosen it up they will spin around see they're you can make them spin a lot better let's see I can't remember does one spin one way and the other one spin the other I can't remember how this drone works but they work you know they, they spin really nice so it depends if you want to keep them loose like that or if you're going to display them and you want them to have more of a you know a cross pattern so it's kind of cool that they give you that option so that's a nice little build okay and here is the rover itself and this thing is big I'm really shocked at how big it is for whatever reason I was thinking it was only like this big I'm not sure why I was thinking that was the size that it was going to be but I was pleasantly surprised at how nice and large this is it's a very substantial build you can see all the amazing detail on this I think it's a pretty darn good replica of the uh, the rover as we've seen pictures of it and stuff it's pretty detailed as I said I don't know what all the little gadgets are but um, or the little things and greeblies that are on it but it looks very good it's a nice big build it's uh, got a few things that were a little complicated as far as like this whole section down here and some of the inner workings but it's not bad at all I mean you shouldn't be um, intimidated by these Technic sets because they, they really are a lot of fun and also you know this being such a mechanical thing I think Technic is really the best way to have handled this it does have some great little features like this little shifter here and I'll get some close-ups of this but if you turn it see how the wheels turn like that so it'll turn the wheels and then you can shift it like this and that allows for the whole thing to turn well I'm on a turntable here but it's, it allows the whole thing to turn 
360 like that. That is really cool. So they made it so that the wheels will do that. It's like a little gear shifter right here. This is really cool. And there's some controls back here, and I'll show you what those do as well. And then also here's the camera setup. So I'll show you all the cool details on here. Okay, so let's start with the front here. This is the camera setup. There's a big old camera on the front. I think there's several cameras on the actual rover for this section right here, but it's kind of cool that they represented it pretty well. There's a nice little cable or wire that goes down to that section. Here's the stock over here. There's probably some other sensors or things that are going on right here. Like I said, I don't know what any of this stuff is. There's a nice sticker there for the American flag. There's a nice print on there, and there's several of those tiles on here. As you can see, there's some more right there. There's some more back here, too. Coming back around here, we have the, uh, I'm not sure what this little detail is. There's like a little steering wheel type of thing right here. This actually moves back and forth like this. It doesn't turn, so I'm not sure what that is. Here is that arm on the front, and this is pretty cool. So I'm guessing that's where they get the soil samples or something in there. And uh, just whatever all this material or equipment is. There's several of these pieces that you use to stack to make this whole section right there. On the front here, you can see that it says Perseverance on that section there for a sticker. And there's another sticker right here that says Mars 2020. So I guess that's been up there since 2020. I don't remember it being that long, which is kind of bizarre. You can also bend it right here with this little uh, ratchet kind of system right there. On this side, you can see the gears. That's what helps make this whole arm move. That arm will move with those controls in the back over there, which is pretty cool. Here's some more stuff going on. These wheels, like I said, they're plastic. And I said I wish they were rubber, but I don't think they're rubber on the actual rover. I, I think they're made of some kind of a, a soft material because I don't think rubber would hold up very well in the Martian atmosphere and traveling all those miles. So they probably have a different material. But, you know, nevertheless, these things are really neat looking. I love all that. So as I mentioned, this whole uh, section right in here is just a crazy build. It, it's, it seems like it's more complicated than it looks when you're building it, and you have to really pay attention because they got all these crazy gears and stuff so that when you turn these, see how that all moves around? You got those little joints in this section here. There's several, several of those right there. So that's what makes that work when you turn that dial on the top right here. So turning this dial like this, it just turns a little bit, but that's what makes all these mechanisms work. See, just has a couple of those little, I don't know what you call those round things. You can see how this whole thing works, and that's what makes the wheels turn. It works really well. It's very well engineered. There's a sticker right there. That one's kind of odd because you, you put the sticker right on top of this little indentation. So you're going to have to put, you're going to have to dig your fingernail right in here to make sure you get the crease down. You can see the light hitting it, and that way you get you get it flush against the uh, against this piece. That way you don't have this weird gap. So just make sure you take your fingernail and really rub that down in there and burnish it down. Back here we have some more details of these wheels and there's also a, another one of these tiles. This back section is pretty cool. Pardon the dog barking in the background. <laughs> now this thing here, I'm not sure uh, what this is. Uh, is this where they dump the dirt samples and maybe that's where it gets sorted into the little mini labs on the inside where it's analyzed? I don't really know for sure. Some of you guys may know a lot more about this stuff than I do. But here's another sticker right here and there's another one right here on the top. You can see the little detail going on right there. See if I can focus in on it. Yeah, it's upside down but that's where it looks. It's like a little roll bar right there. It's kind of cool. Now if I can get focus back in here, okay, sorry about that. So I think this is supposed to be some kind of an antenna right there. And I think this is also some kind of an antenna as well. This also uses some more of that gold foil uh, stickers on there. It looks really nice. You can kind of see if I can get the reflection on it. Yeah, right there. So it's pretty cool. You can adjust this from side to side as well. So that's very neat. That's the back section on the underneath side. That's very cool. So yeah, all that Technic stuff going on in there. You know, I'm not a fan of these pins, these colored blue pins. They really stand out and kind of make it look a little ugly. I kind of wish they, I really wish they had a more standardized version of some of these pegs. You know, just either all black, all gray, all uh, white, whatever color you're going to need for whatever particular model. Because these really stand out pretty bad and I just don't really like the way that looks. That's probably the biggest downside to it. I mean, so you can really see them down here as well. 
and some of that red shows up for those rods that go on the inside there but other than that though it's still pretty cool okay let me show you some of the other functions of it now this arm on the front is really cool so as i mentioned there's a ratchet right here so you can adjust which you know how far down you want this to go but then we also have this cool operational uh, like knobs back here so by turning these is how you can adjust the front arm so by turning this one you can see how the arm goes down it takes quite a few turns to make it work i kind of wish they would have used maybe a larger gear in there so you could just turn one time and make it go down quite a bit it would be a lot better but you know hey it still works okay so you can raise this up right in here like this and then this one here makes it go from side to side so it'll go all the way to the end right here it goes all the way to the very end if you want to go that way which is pretty cool and maybe this little thing here might be like part of where that rests if you're, it's in storage or something now it only goes this far going this way that's as far as it goes right there but it's pretty neat so you can kind of play around with it and make it look like it's taking some soil samples or something like that so that's a really cool feature i'm glad they did that so here's how these gears work to make the arm raise and lower see there's a little corkscrew piece right in there and so that's what allows the arm to raise and lower as you can see it going down right there so it's quite a network of gears going on in there just for that simple function but there's a lot going on and then here's that little shifter thing i was telling you about when you turn this back and forth that's what makes the wheels turn and then when you push it back that's what makes the wheels go in a completely 360 kind of turn so now you can turn the entire thing like this it's really neat i didn't really know what the purpose of that was until i figured out oh that does a 360 well i mean they show in the instructions but you know it's a very cool feature that they didn't have to add in there but i'm really glad they did now this entire wheel system is pretty cool because grip the bottom here you can see how this whole thing is a separate kind of thing so if you want it to go over bumps it's totally doable because of this hinge right here and this part right here allows for it and then another thing is this whole mechanism here is pretty cool so see how the whole thing works like that it's like you got the ball joint kind of thing going on and that's why you've got this round gear system right there so that was another very well engineered part to make this so that it can go over rough terrain if you want to play around with it so that is really cool so there we go the mars perseverance rover set from lego this set officially comes out on august 1st of 2023 here in the united states it's going to retail for a hundred dollars um, it's already out in other parts of the world it's already out in europe and stuff so it's kind of weird uh, sometimes we get stuff early and sometimes they get stuff early but for some reason ours is two months later than what uh, the european countries got but I managed to find somebody in Italy who was kind enough to sell me a copy of this brand new in the box. So I very much appreciate that person. But in the meantime, uh, I think this is a really great set. If you are a space nut or a, a science nerd like I am, I mean, I like all of this stuff. Anything to do with space and, and just the idea that we can put stuff on other planets like this just boggles my mind all the time. And it's just amazing. And I always thought these rovers are just cool, even though... Over the course of time, they, they die out. And we probably have a bunch of rovers sitting up there that are <laughs> uh, not working anymore, which is kind of sad. But this one here, I definitely got some amazing pictures and stuff going on on Mars. But uh, yeah, I think it's a really great set. Like I said, it's not the prettiest set. It's not like um, it's not going to be like a set like the, uh, the tree house or the A-frame cabin. It's not one of those kind of sets. But it's going to look good on display if you are a science person like I am and, or robotic vehicles. But yeah, very, very cool. I'm glad LEGO reissued this kit because I think it was something that needed to be done because uh, that first version, boy, it's expensive now. So go out and get one on August 1st if you can get your hands on one. Hopefully, they'll probably be really popular. The last time we had something like this was like the shuttle, the space shuttle. Oh my God, the line was out the door for that. So this is probably going to be equally popular. All right, well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'd very much appreciate it. And until the next time, I will see you on the next video. So thank you very much and have a good one.